Life in Indonesia. This is uh, what the world's like at the moment here in Indonesia. Sunday, people are at the park enjoying themselves in the outdoors. Only if I had a translator, I could talk with people, share the good news. No one here wants to do what the Word of God says. They just want to be hearers, not doers of the Word. Just practice their faith, their dead faith, in their Christianity, dead religion. Uh, God bless them. So, this is live in Indonesia today on Sunday. In America, it's Saturday. Here is Sunday already. And that's the largest building of uh, what they have. You know, it's like uh, here, the. The laws that I heard, they're really strict. So if you talk anything about theirs, uh, you get in trouble. So it's hard to mention a name uh, here because they just, if you're a Christian, they want you jailed or killed. So that's life in Indonesia. It feels weird uh, when you're like the only foreigner around here. You know, you look, you know, certain directions and people are just staring at you. Most of the time it feels like you're an alien because the way they look at you. Uh, but praise God, you know, sometimes uh, it's overwhelming. And only if I could speak the language you know be able to communicate but uh we're gonna call it a day and uh well it's in the morning so we're gonna go somewhere else Woohoo, i got to kick the ball may the lord uh that I touched, be touched by the Holy Ghost and touch everyone and set them free from this religion and come to the saving knowledge of the truth. Oh, Botole! Top, Marco, top!
Ya, bagus. Nah, semoga hari mu indah. Siapa namamu? Adam. Adam. Okay. Alright, nice to. Let him play. <laughs> this guy's uh, kids are cool over here. Kids are cool. Uh, so this is life in Indonesia today, Sunday. I'm gonna try to get some uh, some to eat in my stomach. So I need to keep myself uh, um, what's it called uh, healthy. Some battling attack from these demonic forces that the government is working on. Ah. <sighs>